Hey guys, this is a quick video of Quibu's AOSP ice cream sandwich build for Nexus S. Uh, it's vi version 2, so there are a couple of fixes compared to version 1. Most noticeably is the USB storage devices. Um, that works now, so you can plug it into the computer, plug the phone into the computer, and it will show up as a storage device. Now the first thing I want to show you is face unlock. Now it says that it works in the list of working features, but um, I have a bit of trouble with it. I'm, I'm thinking it's just because it's an early build, but let's try if this, this works. Okay, it might be a bit dark, so let's try again. Oh, there you go. So it does work, but not very reliable. Uh, so here you go, this is the home screen of Ice Cream Sandwich, I'm sure most of you have seen it before. Um, but compared to uh, the AOSP ROMs compared to the SDK ports, there are a couple of differences. The first thing I noticed was in the app tray, um, we, ha we now have the, the transitions where they fade in. And also, once you reach the end of your apps, it's, it begins and goes into the widgets, which is uh, um, different to the SDK ports earlier. And also, um, we have the hardware acceleration. Oh, we we had that in the SDK ports as well. But um, just to show you what that what it means, I'm going to open uh, the Books app. When I find it, there it is. And you see, you get nice page turn animations when you turn the pages, which is very nice. And also, we have our long-awaited rotation animation. It's also very nice. Let's show that again. Another thing I've noticed compared to earlier SDK ports was that uh, the launcher screen, or the home screens, no longer rotate. They stay fixed in the portrait, which is a bit, which is a bit of a bummer, because I, I enjoyed having the home screen turn as well. Um, maps is al also a bit different. See the top bar and the bottom bar? They are actually well, transparent, um, but it, still, it works pretty well. Actually, I find that the GPS seems to work better on Ice Cream Sandwich than compared to Gingerbread. That's just my own experience. Um, you have your new calendar, which can be resized, which we've seen before. And also the new <coughs> multitasking menu, which can be called up. Uh, we don't have a multitasking button because it's the old Nexus S. But if we press and hold the home key, it'll come up. And there you go. And this is some of the stuff I've been playing. Oh, I've been playing Fruit Ninja. Into that, you can get rid of some stuff. And for those wondering, the new phone dialer looks like this and it doesn't have the T9 prediction which is not that great I wish it did have it but it doesn't um, I'll just show you the, the camera app now they have these new face options if I can find it maybe I need to switch to camera Okay, here they are. They have these face detecting um, silly effects, but unfortunately they don't work on this build. If you just press it, it will force close. There you go. 